What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today I have an early reveal, of course, uh, compliments of Konami, they sent me this box to show to you guys. We have the new set, Valiant Smashers, so big thank you to Konami for sending this, that is really awesome of them, and uh, yeah, this is the the new, like, three-themed set, like we've seen in the past four, like we've seen Amazing Defenders, Well Survivors, those kind of sets, well now we have Valiant Smashers, and the new themes look really cool. Uh, for this, we have the uh, MMM Tolan, which is kind of like, it's bringing older monsters back. They're almost like zombified versions of themselves or even like corrupted versions of themselves. We have the uh, Centurion, which is, uh, I think it's technically Centurion altogether, but it, the way it's written is Centurion. So I, I don't really know technically which way. Either way, they're like these knights that use robots and that that's pretty much all you had to tell me i mean really yeah you have cyber knight here and it's like yes knights and robots and they have like a synchro theme going on too which looks really interesting to me and yeah i mean again you have mecha magical knight girls making a giant robot that has everything i need in life okay <laughs> and then the belmonica are the last ones which are a pendulum link theme, which looks very interesting as well. I really like them. They're like these like fairies down here and uh, they also look pretty cool. So anyway, this set will be released on November 15th at OTS stores, official tournament stores. And then of course, uh, everywhere, big box retailers and all that on uh, November 17th, of course, 2023 on both of those dates. Oh, and one more thing. I almost forgot. Actually, this set is actually a little bit different from the other three themed sets because you may have noticed it's one of these. So you're like, well, there's collector ears, right? Yes, this has collector rares in it too. There are collector rares in the set, but not only that, they added quarter century seeker rares. So yes, there is one for each of the themes, one each. So there's three of them in total in the set. I don't know how rare they're going to be, like how tough they're going to be to get or anything like that, but a little bit something extra to hunt down, which sounds really cool to me. So I think that's awesome. I like the quarter century seeker. I think it's a cool rarity and I hope they continue with it because uh, yeah, I, I like that idea. I mean, I love collector rares. Don't get me wrong. That's still probably my main thing with this set as with any of these kind of sets. But if I can get a quarter century, I mean, that's, that's a good day. That's a good week, <laughs> year, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, let's open this up and uh, see what we can get. There we go. Make it a little easier for myself. There. But yeah, let me know too down in those comments below and Konami really too, which of these three themes seem the most interesting to you. Like I said, I kind of gave you a little bit of a rundown of them, but uh, I hadn't even decided which one I would want to build yet either. So we'll have to see. Might just let the cards kind of decide that for me. There, a little less glare. And of course, like, subscribe, and ring that bell because Konami... Uh, yeah, they have a lot of stuff coming out, and if you want to stay updated with everything Yu-Gi-Oh, you want to hit that bell. Ooh, that's a good start. Uh, Arc Nemesis Eschatos? That's a really good reprint. Well, that's <laughs> nice. Foolish Burial, I'll take that too. Uh, Mimitolin Dark Blade. He's another older monster, of course, that's been brought back in this, uh, this theme and, uh, looks awesome. I mean, he was in, like, so many starter decks and stuff back in the day. It's really cool to see him again. He's probably my favorite of them. I like the different ones that I've heard about in this. All right. I don't know how you say the name of that one, but that's, I think, a pretty decent reprint. Protecting Spirit. Oh, Arclord Christia. That's really good. And Colossal Fighter. So we have some really good rares in this set. Okay. Konami has been doing pretty good on that kind of stuff. Like the rares, like Wild Survivors, I believe, was the previous set. Um, it had like basically everything you needed for dinosaurs, like in the rares. So... There's some really good ones on this, too. Gravity Collapse. Granel. I haven't seen that in a while. Stand Up Centurion. That's pretty cool. So that gives us the Field Spell. Okay. Call the Haunted. Eh, always pretty good for that, too. Uh, Valhalla Honest. And uh, Memento... Uh, Mictlin? I don't know how you pronounce that. I, I, <laughs> I'll tr I tried my best, but that's the Field Spell for them. So, yeah, for the Memento... Pretty interesting. Yeah, and I'm going to try my best on some of these names. I know Velmonica have some interesting names. Supply Squad, Apophis, Swamp Deity. Ooh, we have something then. Okay, you know if you're getting a few rares, then you're getting something. Imperial Custom. There is the uh, Mimitolan Horn Dragon. It's Trihorn Dragon, basically. If you hadn't noticed, it's Trihorn, actually. So that's kind of cool. And 
There, there we go. It looks like we're getting the Centurions. Uh, Lega, Legatia? Is that how you pronounce that? I think so. It, that's one of their giant robots, basically. That's their Synchro. It looks sick. Like, that is one of the coolest looking cards on there. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of letting the cards decide what I build, but uh, that might be the answer right there. Who knows? Stained Glass and Arc Lord again. Again, let me know down in those comments which one seems the most interesting to you. Like, all three do seem actually fun. Oh, Draco Berserk of the Tinny. That's good. Oh, yeah, Mimitolin, uh Boneback as well. It's a quick play. Centurion True Awakening. I like that. Like, just artwork right there. That's like sleeves, right? I, I hope they make sleeves or something. You know, that's awesome. Ghost Sister, Spooky Dogwood, Imperial Custom. Ooh, Abominable Unchained Soul. That could be really cool. And Mimitol and Cranium Burst. If that's a collector rare, that Unchained, that could be really, really good. I mean, that's a good reprint anyway, don't get me wrong. Because Unchained is doing very well. So it makes it easier for people to get them. But a collector rare would be very pretty. <laughs> As Chados, again, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. That one kind of surprised me. Synchro Transmission. The Monaco Followed Rhythm. There's the other archetype or theme. Number uh, 41, Baguska. That would be another really sick one. We get his collector rare. Colossal and Honest. Currently, I don't know what's a collector rare from this set. I mean, it's like my, you know, of course, first opening. We haven't really heard a whole lot on that kind of stuff. That's what we're going to see. So check out the other videos too from other people. But uh, there's some good contenders here. Dark Honest. Followed Rhythm. Is that what we, yeah, that's what we just got. <laughs> Say, wait a minute. That threw me off. I'm going to tell him Cranium Burst again. Hopefully, a lot of different people out there got some collector rares or quarter century. I mean, I got to say that I'm always hunting for the collector rares. I, that's like my favorite rarity. I'm going to tell Goblin. It's Chados. Centurion uh, Phalanx. That's cool. Number 41 yet again. Ooh, Trick Clown is pretty good. I hadn't seen this card in a little while. Still a good card. <laughs> And remember when it was first released, all those clowns. Whew. <laughs> I think it was originally common, too, so technically it's a rarity increase if you want. Uh, Foolish Burial, Draco Berserker, Valmonica Intonair. I'm going to say that's how you say that. I tried my best. Still love that Colossal Fighter. That Colossal Fighter is a collector rare. That's what I'm going to need. Like, seriously. I love some of those older synchros. Gravity Collapse, Granol again, Imatola and Mace. So that's uh, Key Mace, I believe. It's like, a, you know, the original form. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there. <laughs> Let's see, what am I doing? It threw me off. Okay. Heart of the Cards. Advanced Draw, Dark Honest, Stand Up Centurion. That's the Field Spell. Didn't we get the Yeah, we got one of those already. There can only be one. Still love that card and honest. They're gonna be one that has like one of the best artworks because uh, Soul Servants. <laughs> and he's uh, going on vacation, so that that's just better. <laughs> what do we got? Got the Goblin. Oh, okay, here we go. Summoner Monk. We haven't seen Summoner Monk yet. That's an older card I hadn't seen in a while. And. Oh, okay, number 41. And. Another one of them! Dude! Centurion. Uh. uh True Day? True Day, I guess? Trudy? <laughs> I guess it's basically the name. I can't believe we actually got another one of these. So yeah, it feels like the set is tell me what to build. I mean, if we got two of them as ultra rares, okay. Uh, maybe that's that's the one I'm going to go with then. I'm not sure. So yeah, terraforming as well. I love terraforming. All right. I, I can't believe I'm having good luck with that one because that was the one I was kind of interested in. And I was like, eh, you know, I, I don't know if I'll get them, you know, that kind of thing. Followed Rhythm again. I think that gives us a play set. Oh, uh, Angel of Zera. I don't think we saw that before. That's another cool synchro. All right, let's see what else we got. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I was being pessimistic because I was like, well, will I get those? I don't know. You never know what you're going to get kind of thing. And whew, I'm getting them. <laughs> Duralum, uh, Velmonica, Heathen Hollow. Take that. Ooh, uh, Valhalla, too. Yeah, seriously, like, they got some good reprints on the on the rares. A lot of, like, fairy stuff. 
So I like that quite a bit. Some really good cards. Draco Berserker. Again, I think he's just so cool looking anyway. Chosen Melody. Which is neat. Fractured Dance. I don't think we've seen that yet. There can only be one. I still like that stained glass card too. That is really pretty. Like, is that a hollow? I'm trying to say because it's the first printing of it. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to check that out. Because that's a pretty card. Uh, then Metallic Goblin. Foolish Burial. Velmonica uh, Versire. Some really cool stuff on that. Okay. I feel like in Super Rares, I'm getting all Velmonica. But for the Ultras, we're getting Centurion. There's our Dark Honest. Shadows. Centurion True Awakening. I think that might be the third one of those. I'll take it. I don't know what I need, you know, really, if I want to build them, but the more you get, the better. <laughs> That's usually what I go with on it. It's like, hey, you know, better to have extras than, than not enough. Uh, Zebuffera Valmonica Hollow Heathen. I really like those. They're Link 1 and 2,500 attack. There's dark and light. Those seem pretty cool to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'll say, I kind of like those, too. We'll see. Pophis. Uh, Damano of Amonica. Again, I, I feel like they're the supers I keep getting for sure. They're very tempting. You can tell I hadn't made up my mind yet. Gravity Collapse. Dark Honest. Okay, here we go. We got something. Give me Collector Rare. Maybe? And uh, Mimitola and a Bone Party. Is that... Uh, that's Ultra. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought I saw on the edge. I was like, please. Oh, no, that's still cool. I mean, yeah. It, at least we're a Mimitola too. So it's kind of funny. You know, we finally see what, uh, you know, something from them. We hadn't seen as much, I feel like, really, from them. So yeah, we got their quick play. Honestly, when I first saw the theme, that was the one I was kind of thinking about going with. So it's kind of funny that if I finally get something for them, I feel like. Uh, they do look really cool, too. I thought we had a collector rare. Although, we're not done. We still have, what, a quarter of the box or something? I'd really kept count. Angelo Valmonica? Come on. Harder the cards. Help me out here. Give me something cool. Share your energy with me, you guys. Maybe you can help me out. Wish me some good luck. Mimitol and Dark Blade? Again, I do like that one quite a bit. There's really cool artwork, too. Okay. Come on. We're getting down to the wire. Got our Goblin. Advanced Draw. Velmonica Versire. Another one of those. Again, Velmonica's for sure. <laughs> We're getting all the all the supers. I think only two packs left. We can get a Collector Rare or a Quarter Century. I mean, I shouldn't forget about that. Okay. Supply Squad. Gravity Collapse. Ah, we have uh, Zebuffra, Valmonica, Hollow Heathen. So, now, last pack. Can we end with that Collector Rare or that Quarter Century? Let's see. I mean, it's been a pretty good box, I feel like, with this. But, what can I say? I want Collector Rares. <laughs> and Quarter Centuries. But especially with these sets, I'm always hunting for those Collector Rares. And I want to see what got chosen. So, help me out here. Transmission. Granol. Ah, uh, that means we didn't. Ah, uh, we got Mimitolin uh, Tatsun... Tushigo? Tatsunoshigo? That's about as good as you're going to get for me, unfortunately. But, yeah. <laughs> and it was super. It's still a cool card, don't get me wrong. But, you know, we always want to get the highest rarities we can, right? You want to try to get those chase cards. But, yeah. I mean, all in all, seems like a pretty cool set. I mean, honestly, I like the reprints that we're seeing on the rares. It makes me think that the collector rares are going to be really cool. I'm hoping there's some really good choices because, you know, as you're seeing, unfortunately, I didn't get any of them. So, yeah, I don't know what we have here, but I feel like the ultra rares were nice. Centurion does look really fun. Vamonica is also extremely tempting for me and then of course the mementos as well so let me know again down in those comments below what is your favorite theme with this you know in this set and everything too and what reprints did you also enjoy because again 
there's quite a few good ones. I mean, a lot that I would love to see as collector rares. Again, thanks for watching. Thank you to Konami and all that too. Be sure to tell me in the comments on different things too, because I do believe Konami does read the comments. So if you have any other ideas or whatever for Konami, please tell them down in the comments below. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.